Good morning, everybody. I apologize for the wonky audio that you're dealing with right now. I am in the office, and thankfully nobody's around me to record this, but unfortunately I am still in the office, so I have to be quiet. It is currently 9.30 in the morning. I apologize for not having an episode yesterday. I tried to record one as I was getting ready for work yesterday, but I just couldn't even. I had a really, really hard time yesterday, so I just ended up just clocking out of work and calling it a sick day, and here we are. Now I'm at work. It's Tuesday, and, you know, 9.31, and I'm sitting in a meeting trying to see whether or not I'm going to have a fucking job by the end of the day or not, and we'll end up seeing how that goes. It's stressful. And also, like, I saw something upsetting this morning, too. It's like... I tried to make a little TikTok about it, but I just couldn't find the way to, to articulate my feelings without the meaning coming off as something I didn't intend. You know, I went downstairs and got a little bit of OJ, so get a little bit early brecky, some brecky poo, you know, get this, you know, just stuff like that. And you know, downstairs in in my building, they have a cafeteria, and it's you know, like you know, normally they have some people working cashier and stuff. They've completely gotten rid of in person cashier, and it's now only um now now it's only self checkout which it's like fine or whatever but like you know don't then i see like pride pride flags and shit all over the place which you know i don't have a problem with that i'm i'm a known ally the problem i have with it is is, is that like the pride flags insinuate that you care about people <laughs> insinuates you care about fucking people but then like you're going to like you know, one week, the, like, the, the one week these people are all here and they're doing their jobs and they're there, and the next week that they just, they just don't have a fucking job anymore, it's just fucking insulting. You know, it's insulting to, it's insulting to, you know, the people who, you know, rely on these wages for living, and it's insulting to the fucking flag that, you know, people are flying, that this company's flying for rainbow capitalism points. It's like, you know, the flag, like, flags mean things. And it means you care about people and their experiences, specifically, like, you know, the Alphabet Mafia, but, like, but, like, it means you, 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 put, you care for people, but then you fire four, you, you, like, four people, including an adorable old woman by the name of Ruth, who I think is an absolute sweetheart and always dotes on me and shit when I'm, when I'm in the office, like, it's freaking insulting and I hate it, and, you know, it just... Is it any wonder why I hate where I work? God bless me, I have been in a meeting for the last four hours. It's noon 05 now. And if you take offense to the way I say 12.05, I understand. That is the choice that I made for myself, and I choose to live with it. I will say that, personally, if there's one thing I've taken away from this meeting, despite the slapdash nature of everything that's been going on with it, I personally find that one of my biggest critiques was the amount it was the food that they gave us for this meeting. Firstly... We are on a team filled with Indian folks, and a lot of these people are Hindi, and because, and therefore they're vegetarian. And I don't think chicken parmesan as the primary protein is a very good thing to have for these folks when all they have is questionable pasta and a mediocre salad. Speaking of chicken parmesan, apologize for all the noise. I am you know, walking around while trying to do this. One of my biggest gripes was with the chicken parm. It was soggy, uninspired, and and unseasoned. The proper way to make a chicken parmesan is to take a mix of of cornstarch, flour, and breadcrumbs. Take a a malleted chicken breast that you've tenderized and fry it, um, basically using that flour mix with an egg wash. And then the proper way to do it is to make a nice red sauce that you portion onto pieces you cut off. You never want to actually put the sauce directly on a chicken parmesan. Otherwise, it just gets soggy and unedible, period. In other news, I have a new co-worker, which is, you know, fine, fun, and dandy. 
but you know I think I'm going to be moving to a new team in the near future that's separate from everything I'm doing now can't say I'm not excited about it it's UI related and I like working on UI components and you know front end stuff in a more javascripty environment but I don't know I just every time I have to have a meeting with my manager I just get super anxious and there's nothing really I can do about it feels bad man Sometimes I wish I was able to work from home so I could at least <laughs> share something related to all this that, you know, so I didn't give you guys, you know, 10 minutes today of, you know, me bitching about my job, but then again, like, what else is there to talk about? I mean, I, I will talk about the things I see today, the feelings I have, and this entire podcast is just a stream of consciousness shenanigans. I'm depressed, and I hate it. I don't know, man. I'm just sick and tired of being sick and tired.